Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we will be completing the quest of Olaf. The quest requirement is Fermic Trials, and the stat requirements are 40 fire making and 50 wood cutting. Also, the higher your agility level, the smoother this quest will go for you. I just need it. Simply an axe, a spade, and a tinderbox. For the recommended items, depending on your agility level and how much you currently weigh, between 1 and 5 stamina potions. Then also bring along some away to reducing clothing, and I would suggest you to weigh as little as possible. Then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a solely melee using combat 100 undead with a max hit of 11. But since you've completed the Fremic Trials quest, that boss fight is much more difficult than this one, so you should be fine. Definitely if you have 43 prior. Then also a weapon to kill a couple of combat 40s, and have approximately 10 inventory slots would be nice. For the teleports, one to Relica, one to the Faring Code DKS here near the quest start, or have 57 agility, then also one after the quest is completed. So, where to start this quest is simply use the Faring Code DKS or just make your way northeast of Relica to Olaf at the quest start. Let's talk to him and select option one. After speaking to him, let's run east up the hill to the transportation sign of the fairing DKS. Just north of it, you should find a dead bush icon on your minimap. Go towards it to find a windswept tree. Click on it to jump down. And once you get some wood, let's return to Olaf. After you've finished the conversation, let's make our way to Relica. I'll quickly be using a Relica portal teleport. You could also use your lyre or your Fremenic boots, or just use your legs. Once you've entered Relica, let's go to the water sign, and somewhere around it you should find the NPC called Ingrid. Talk to her. After speaking to her, let's run north, and let's go north of the long hall. In front of the helmet shop, you should find an NPC called Wolf Olafsson. Talk to him. After speaking to him, we will need to make our way back to Olaf. So if you have 57 or higher agility, simply run east and jump over the fence. If you don't, then... Either run all the way back, or use a fairing code DKS. By the way, it doesn't really matter what you do with your bread as well as shark. Once you've returned to Olaf, let's talk to him. Once the conversation is over, let's use the damp plank on the embers just next to him, just south. After you've lit these, let's talk to Olaf and select option 2. After the conversation is over with Olaf, let's go east and enter the fun dungeon. Let's go back to the windswept tree, stand next to it south, and then dig with your spade to enter the brian red dungeon, let's say. North in the room, you should find a couple of NPCs in a room. Use your minimap and make your way there. Inside of that room, you will find a couple of Brian Rats of Combat 70. If you would wish to complete a Fremenic Medium Diary task, equip your weapons and kill one. 
If you don't, then skip to the timestamp currently on the screen. Should take like 10 seconds or so. Oh, I don't have the Slayer level. Once you've defeated a Brian Rat, let's go to the room just north with the door sign. In front of the door, you should find a couple of skeleton Fremenix. Those are undead monsters, so I will be wearing my self amulet and a skill 1 combat 40. By the way, in the next room, there will be also Fremenix skeletons of combat 50 as well as 60, but their drop table are exactly the same. The only difference is the hit points level. Once you've killed a Fremenix skeleton, let's pick up the key and then open the picture wall. Click to continue. And you should see this interface. On the right side, you should find five buttons. On the top four, let's pull the bottom one, then right, then top, and then left, and then pull the very bottom one, the horizontal one, to unlock the door permanently. Let's search the door and then run north. First, in the southwestern corner, you should find a rope spawn. Pick up six ropes. Next, on the other side, they should find some rotten barrels. Pick up two. And then make your way to the northeastern corner, here at the shore. Turn off your run energy and then walk onto the walkway until you can't go any further. And if you manage to slip off the rotten walkway, then you will end up north of Olaf. Simply run back south, back onto the hill, dig underneath the windswept tree and run all the way back to the walkway to try again. The success rate should all depend on your agility level as well as your current wait all right let's try this again turn off run energy let's walk onto it and there we go next let's use our rotten barrel on the first hole in the walkway walk two tiles next to it and then use your second barrel on the second hole and then spam click on the gate fuck it doesn't work i misclicked i think once the two rotten barrels are in the walkway Let's spam click on the gate and this should help you reach the gate. Once you've reached the gate, click to continue and then on the right side you should find a key with a certain handle. Then simply click on the keyhole with the same shape to temporarily open the gate. Once you've made it through the gate, spam click on a Fremenic skeleton on the other side of the walkway until you've made it across. Use a corresponding handle once you've succeeded and pass the gate and then spam click on the Fremenic. Do not misclick! Oh, I misclicked and I failed! Ah, oh, damn it. This isn't the same bridge that goes to Karn Isle during Type 1 I 3 on Shallow Village Quest, where you can simply open an interface and it will let you pass without failing. This bridge is not the same. So besides from that, maybe get a higher agility level, way less, or yeah, just keep on trying. Maybe just try not to misclick on the walking Fremnik skeleton. After you've passed the gate, spam click on a Fremnik skeleton. Hopefully it will just not move. And once you've made it, holy shit, finally. Let's go on the western side of the shipwreck. Enter it. Open the chest to spawn the Comet 100 Fremenic Skeleton. Defeat it, open the chest again to complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed Olaf's quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 12,000 defense experience, unlocked Brian Rats as Slayer tasks, 4 rubies and 20,000 coins. Also, you've now completed a quest requirement for that Fremenic Medium Diary to kill a Brian Rat if you have the requiring 47 Slayer to do so. If you want to make it back, then simply slip off the slippery walkway 
or just teleport out of here. Alright, this was my guide how to complete Olaf's quest. You may destroy the parchment as well as the Sven's last map. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. 27 minutes, dude.